I'm not qualified <laughs> to do anything, you know? I just know how to play guitar. You were just saying you opened today. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, I was here about nine o'clock this morning. Uh, we're last in line. So when I'm not working with Def Leppard, for the last several years I've been on tour, we're last in line. We've got two albums out and uh, it was uh, a band that was uh, created from the remnants of the original Dio band. Right. And uh, it, it's great fun. It's nothing like Def Leppard. It's a real heavy band. And so we opened the main stage today. So it's a long oh, amazing. day. Bookends, you know, yeah. open it and close it. Any kind of difference to how excited you feel about either? Do you prefer kind of the more heavy stuff now or? No, they're, they're like two different muscles to exercise, you know. Uh, in Leopard, it's a very polished production. Yeah. Uh, it's a very slick show. Um, it's very vocal intense. Um, and the vocals are all live and we really have to work hard at that. Uh, there's two guitars in Leopard, obviously, so we get to share that and we get to orchestrate the songs differently. Uh, we're last in line, uh, it's guitar, bass, drums, and a singer. I don't sing at all in last in line because I don't want to, I just want to play guitar. And as I'm the only guitar player in the band, uh, I really want to focus on that. So yeah. it, it's just a different thing altogether. But two great bands, and I am very, very fortunate and very lucky to be able to experience it. Yeah, so uh, did you play Download before? We did. It's actually exactly 10 years to the day wow. from when we first played Download. We played here on June the 14th, 2009. And uh, here we are exactly 10 years later. Wow. Good memory or someone told you? <laughs> no, I, I remember that because it was the last time I saw my father was the day before. So <gasps> oh God, it, it's no a very, way. very poignant week for me. In yeah. That way. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll never forget that one. Yeah, so really important show today yes, then. Yes, be dedicated to my father. Yeah. So what does it mean to play Download? Uh, it's wonderful, you know, for, for Def Leppard to still be able to command this sort of a, an audience in, in in the UK you mm -hmm. know I think it's fair to say that, that Leopards had a bit of a, an up and down sort of a relationship with the home audience you know um, there was a lot of blowback in the 80s where I think a lot of people over here felt that Leopard had sold out and just gone to America um, you know but it's it's very different now there's a, we we have such a diverse uh, audience and such a great audience you know there's people of our own generation who grew up with us and then we've noticed over the years more and more people who are young enough to be our kids coming to the show and that's been wonderful because uh, with that youthful infusion comes this, this this energy from the audience and we're a band that really 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 require our audience to participate we we feed off of that energy so um, it's it's just a it's a very happy coincidence for us to have that you know, yeah really kind of lifts our, our show and what does music mean to you oh uh, everything i um i was nine years old and i saw mark bowen and t-rex on top of the pops and it totally changed my life it set the course for my life um i i don't even listen to music much anymore but i i love the feeling of playing it you know uh I know all musicians are different, like like Joe is always listening to music, he's a mad audiophile, got a huge record collection, he knows everything, he'll tell you the catalogue number of any album, what the B-side was, what the weather was like on the Tuesday it was released, you know, he's a total anorak. I, you know, I, I find that I don't listen to music a lot, and when I do, I really, I want to invest in it, I, I respect it. Uh, I think that in this day and age, a lot of music has become, or a lot of people treat music like wallpaper, it's background noise, you know, you just have it on. I, I don't like to listen to music that way. I, I like to put headphones on and be in the dark and just really envelop myself in it, um, which is probably why I don't listen to music very often, you know, because in life you don't always have a lot of time to do that. Um, you know, but it, it really, ha it's been my life. I've never had a proper job. Um, <laughs> And I, like I said earlier, I just I feel immensely fortunate that I've been able to, yeah. to have a life like that, you know, and, and continue to. Who are your biggest inspirations then? Um, in music, you mean, or in life? I mean both. <laughs> well, um, I'm very inspired by my children. I have two daughters, um, you know, and when people say to me, you know, congratulations on your career and getting in the Rock Hall of Fame and all this stuff. And, that's all well and good. My children are still my my biggest achievement, you know, and uh, that inspires me, you know, to see them grow up. And they're uh, my younger daughter's just going to college 
in a couple of months. My elder daughter's finished her second year of college, and you know, to see them go from these little things to these bratty <laughs> things to these teenage things that don't want to talk to you, and then becoming young women and going out in the world and yeah. you know, being young adults, and, and that makes me feel good. Do you think they appreciate what their dad is? <laughs> Do they know much about death? Oh, they've been on tour since they were tiny kids, yeah. They, they kind of take it all for granted. You know, they're not very impressed by it. Um, yeah. But they were impressed when we were on the bill with other younger acts that, yeah. that might be, you know, very uh, successful at the moment, you know. Yeah. Do you still get nervous? Uh, no. Apprehensive, maybe, but not never nervous anymore, no. Uh, it, it's an adrenaline rush. You just got to learn how to focus that, how to channel it to your benefit. Um, otherwise, it could lead to you being nervous and then you're not going to have a good show. You've got to be somewhat relaxed and it's always finding the balance between that apprehension, that excitement and uh, not being complacent. I mean, you got to just find the sweet spot, you know, find yeah. your mojo. And it's it's not it's not an exact science, you know. Some nights, no matter what, it's never quite there. You know, some nights are yeah. great, and some nights are not so great. And and you know, for years, I would always think, oh, how, what what is it about that night that was great? How can I distill that? How can I bottle that so I have it when I need it? And you just can't sometimes, you know. You just got to go with it. And and sometimes, if you have a bad night, um, you got to just know that there's four other guys on stage with you who are really good and they're probably having a great night so it's going to be fine. Yeah. You know? I'm the token Irishman in the band. I'm from Northern Ireland. Um, yeah, I... Should have heard that. I'm their, I'm their lucky charm. <laughs>